Well, greetings everyone, and welcome to a match like no other. They call it their Classica. And indeed, these fixtures very often do turn out to be absolute classics. Bayern Munich against Borussia Dortmund. So much talent on either side, it really turns out to be a damp squid. The fans certainly gearing up for what should be a pulsating encounter. The noise level here is off the charts. There is considerable hostility. The supporters right behind their teams, as they will be from the moment the whistle blows, but they will be nervous too. It carries so much significance, this. The players have to get their mentality right. They need to want to win. They need not to fear making what could be the telling error. Those who haven't the mental aptitude can go missing on occasions such as this. It is the stars who shine when the stage is at its most lit up. So kickoff is approaching very fast now. There are a few formalities left to finalise. Time to get sat for a Classica encounter. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. Why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. The action has already started. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Sadio Mane. He's one of the paciest players around, Peter. He's a, a very dangerous dribbler and a fine finisher to boot. I particularly like the way he gives defenders a headache by drifting across the forward line, looking for gaps to, to probe and, and spaces to get into. I think he's going to be a really huge asset for this team. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Muller ping... Massive leap! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Pavard. Sané. Gets wrestled off the ball. Bayern Munich making a good start. Nice level of intensity in their play. Meunier to play it forward. What a throw in. Dahoud. Torgan Azar. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Neuer sends that a long way. Promising move, that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Sane plotting from out on the right-hand side. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Can he deliver? And it's Davis. And the defence can get it clear. De Ligt. Muller. It's got through. Mane! Goal! Bayern Munich! 
Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. So we have our breakthrough. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Dahoud. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Mats Hummels. Meunier. Played in with accuracy. Knocks it away. Dahu needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Deftly done. Torgan Azar. Now it's Royce. And Royce! Goal! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. Borussia Dortmund are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. That has... There's the whistle for half-time. What it has been, an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. What's the first half compared with your expectation? That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in this second half. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. And we're already back underway here. Royce. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Chan has come loose. Dahoud. Oh, nice touch. Talking as are. Dahu is being picked on here. Yeah, and the creator in whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Kimmich gets his final warning. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. And it's Royce. Royce! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And that's been leave it clear. Sane has created one goal already. Now it's Muller. Sane. A really good feat. Finds himself eased off the ball. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again.
Guerrero. Torkan Azar. Mats Hummels. Hummels with a searching ball. Forward it goes. Sané. He gets... And Sané! Goal! Bayern Munich! And again they hit the front. And that really is so, so impressive. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Bayern Munich go into the lead. Chan. Royce. And the shot! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. And he just whacks it away. Torgan Hazard, shooting chance! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Meunier plays it forward. That'll be a throw-in. Dahoud. Kimmich sticks in a foot to win it back. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Borussia Dortmund making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Dahu plays it forward. De Ligt tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Sané. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Torgan Azar is there, and he can get that clear. Bayern Munich probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. There will be four extra minutes. Guerrero. Guerrero. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And the referee brings it to a close. Borussia Dortmund lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. Well, how will we look back on that? Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a...
a personality of their own and this one didn't really deserve to have a loser. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.